Alright, hello everyone. So, um, as we played through the Silver Case, we saw beyond, like, all everything there, there was a few, like, websites featured in the game. I have, uh, screenshots here of them. And so I promised at one point we'd make a video going through them all, and so, like, here I'm just gonna try to go through them all. Alright, so first I will point out that there is this website, thesilvercase.com, which I found, which is just a site promoting the game and all that. I think this was shown at some point during the gameplay and it didn't take a screenshot maybe early on, but I don't remember exactly. It's just in Japanese, but we can like... Here we go. 24 words. It is a beautiful, noble urban space that envelops people. It's ideally equipped to manage civic life, civic life efficiently and give residents a superstition of safety. The 24 police, the 24 board heinous crimes unit, focuses on turning and immediately erasing violent crimes that threaten peaceful time. A player do those treatments in the public, in the public security special forces. You will be transferred to the 24 wards. 24 awards in this crimes unit. There you will have no choice but to confront. It is a place for gathering detectives covered in lie. I don't know what that means. The reality is that the inhumane behaviors of criminals is rampant. Crackers who run electronic networks. Because I'm not live streaming this on Twitch. And scrupulous corporate executives who make Plain clothes, something that translated weird there. Pleasures of psychopaths, fleeting dreams that conspire to attach to the national system. Internal corruption of government officials hold power. And the legendary serial killer, Camway, who is back. The men seek a place to die, and the women seek the afterglow, the end of their lives. Once again, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. You witnessed the silver incident in the new genre, the silver case, I'm guessing. The new genre film window. So we're clearly missing out on some stuff there is from the translation, but. Yeah. Zero lunatics. So, Bedroom's way home. A man's silhouette appears in the headlights of the car he drives. He has a severed head in his left hand and a pistol in his right. The man shoots and runs away. Kusabi's radio contact dispatches the public security unit. The man's hiding place is Cauliflower, a building of unknown use. One of the players, one of the, I guess, police officers, the player, you, discovers a deranged woman and a headless corpse. After a fierce shootout, you track down the criminal. Kusabi also rushes to the crash site. Confrontation with the culprit, a cold ending awaits. Decoy man. Widespread wanted number K, whatever, uh, was that from the game? was held in the isolation ward until yesterday. It's Kusabi. However, he escaped from the hospital, has already killed three women and stolen the run. The crime scene is gradually closed, closing in on the city. Public, public security special forces is deploying a capture operation, hunting down the future who escaped into the sea of trees. However, the unit is on the verge of destruction due to a man with overwhelming fighting ability. The player himself is seriously injured. The man jumps into the river and escapes from the search network. It's his turn for the criminal division. By gathering the victims in the fugitive's gate, it's inferred that the fugitive's next target would be Shimohira's Ayami, who's the actual killer, as it turns out. Sumia begin heads to the Atelier Gladiolus to protect her. Shimohira Ayami and Sumio's Bijar subject suggestive and captivating dialogue begins. Will the fugitive show up? Number two, Spectrum. So I don't know how fully it was up with this one, but... Sumi and Kusabi have been a stakeout for three days without being informed of their purpose, without being informed of their purpose. At that time, an incident occurred in an apartment in the C1 district. A corpse with cervical vertebra fractures, bruises, and its death is found. Sumi and Kusabi are on a stakeout can't move. Morikawa's whereabouts are unknown, and the Kadagawa is the type of detective who rushes to the scene first. 
She's the one who can rush the scene because of the 24 hour board crimes divinity, crimes division. And the player he, who was transferred to the crimes division after, be serious, after being seriously injured in the previous incident. The witness to the incident is Kokiji, an elementary school, school student who lives in the housing complex Typhoon, where the incident occurred. During the investigation process, the player will listen to Koichi's story about his trusted car, about his divorced play, parents, and gradually the suspicious point of the incident emerges. I still don't know exactly how that was supposed to tie into the rest of the game. But I like how you can see the, the differing art styles as you progress through the different chapters. Parade. The residence of the chairman of the Yukimura Foundation, a corporate consortium, was blown up and blown away without a trace. The scene was so devastating that it was impossible to identify the victims. At that time, the VTR, I don't know what that's supposed to be, of the crime statement arrived. Chairman Yukimura is found to have been kidnapped. However, the motive for the crime remains unknown. Investigation headquarters are set up within the 24 police stations. A few rise between the Violent Crimes Division and the Central Police Agency's Violent um, Crime Investigation Advisor, Sakaguchi. Unfortunately, the bombing of the Chairman's Mansion was carried out right in front of him during the stakeout investigation of Sumio and Kisabi of the Criminals Division. A message from the criminal was hidden in the second crime statement VTR. July 26, 600 billion diamonds. And the person who was designated as the delivery person was a player from was the player from the twenty fourth PlayStation's Violet Crimes Division U. Will the cause we saw on the line of ransom for profit kidnapping? The focus of the incident shifts to the Kimura Foundation. And the curse passed the land called Mikumo. That's the one where Sumio was found to be complicit, right? Kemui Drome. That's the Juggalos online, the heinous crimes unit. The prison arrests a dark organization that was engaged in human trafficking and organ trafficking on a computer network. In recent years, crimes handled by the Violent Crimes Division have been on the rise with the trend of the times. Idol singer Bayan's Osaka Bayan suicide was caused by a large amount of voyeur footage of her private life leaked online. The next day, an ardent Sayaka fan was arrested. Around this time on the network, the activities of a certain unit were gaining enthusiastic following some people. The unit name is Methotank. They foretell September 9th, 1999 will bring about the biggest change in the world. In the Kadagawa, the criminal division obtains information that the Methotank will activate a secret nuclear attack system exists in the country with a computer virus that day, but the central police show a, a wait-and-see attitude. September 9th, 1999, will something happen? Life cut. Government officials are murdered one after another. The direct killing method seems to be a message that completely denies the trend of the times so that is shifting to a network society. The modus operandi of the crime is the same as Uehara Kamui. He caused a stir with the silver case 20 years ago. Has Kamui reappeared? However, Sumio and Kusabi cannot feel Kamui's existence. Meanwhile, Morikawa and Shizuru are secretly investigating an organization called Trump. Around this time, reporter Marshima appears with the player, you, and speaks his view on the incident. It seems that the series of incidents attributed to Kamui are actually the crimes of Trump. You know, Trump members seem to have infiltrated national organizations in familiar places. 25. Kill the life. And that's the one we just played. A new ideal management society can't have 25 wards with the... I feel like that's part of the new game, right? So maybe we shouldn't go into that just yet. There is character discussion. I think it can show off all the different characters. Sumio Kodai, 26 year old male. Originally from the industrial town of Mikumo, after graduating the Central Police Academy, he was assigned to the Heinous Division. Sorry about that. Since then, he has, faith he has faithfully carried out his duties as a middle level investigator of the 24th Police Station's Violent Crimes Division. He forms a partner with Kusabi and always acts as the center of the case in investigation. Possessing a straight laced personality, he seems to have intentionally strayed from the elite course, focusing only on crime deterrence and case solving. 
while keeping a clear line from feuds such as career struggles and power struggles within the police organization. There seems to be a hidden purpose behind his career. Alright, are there more characters? Yeah, there's Tetsuguro Kusabi. He's a 44-year-old male. A veteran investigator who partners with Sumio. He is the appearance of an insensitive old man, but when it comes to criminal investigations, he displays his instinctive intuition and leads the case to a solution. He was in charge of the Silver case as a wide area investigator 20 years ago. In this case, he arrested Kamui Ohara, a hitman who would later be called Original Kamui. In recognition of his achievements, he was promoted and assigned to the Public Security Department, but accepted an invitation from his former boss, Kotobuki, to join the founding members of the Violent Crimes Division. He's also a normal father who is afraid of being hated by his daughter at home. I forgot about that plot point. Hachisuko Chizuru, 25, female. She graduated from the Institute for Scientific Investigation, a research institute that conducts criminal investigations based on accumulated scientific evidence and data. She's the only beautiful girl that seems subjective in the violent crime department, but the truth is that everybody hates her. That's all kind of mean. She's often at odds with Kusabi, who's a particularly an invest intuitive investigator. Her upwardly ambitious nature has doubts about her position and role within her accomplice division. And she shrugs off her relentless invitations from her professional partner, Morikawa. It is also true that she is attracted to him. Kiyoshi Marikawa, 38 year old male. Kusabi's colleague since he was a wide area investigator, a veteran who has belonged to the criminal division since, the, since its establishment. I'm trying to speak quickly here because there's a lot of text, but I'm keep track now for myself. A smart detective who is calm and collected. Because he is often absent from the police station, and his colleagues are unable to locate him, he is thought to be a temperamental person. Think of it as tilting, you don't know what that means. His flashy activities don't stand out, but he steadily gathers information and finds a clue to solve in the case. While he spares no effort in supporting other detectives within the criminal division, it seems he secretly has material like that he won't reveal to anyone. Morichika Nagatagawa, 35, a stylish man with his hair always tied back and a shirt with a breather. He's also a bigoted man, is that the right word? Who hates grouping and often investigates alone. However, since he has a background in public security, he has many connections in various fields and can smoothly exchange information with neighboring jurisdictions. Rather than conducting on-site investigations, he is more committed to coordinating investigation policies within the police. He is the complete opposite of Kusabi and usually doesn't speak, but he often takes care of Sumio. In other words, he is cooperating with Kusabi via Sumio. Okay, and yeah, these are some people we will be seeing in the next game, so we're not going to look at them. Let's get back to there. And Kamui Net seems to be down for right now. I'll look into that more in a second. Is there anything on the history tab? Uh, there's a lot of text here. I feel like it's just overviewing the plot of the game. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can find, like, our first site here is camwaynet.com. That's a cool graphic. That's what we saw in the game. It's kind of a shame it's not animated was but all right what does this say yeah this is all stuff you've seen in the game before profile can you, can you translate this please okay it doesn't really tell us much here this is mostly just like a duplicate of the game. What does it say for sayings here? Kill the past, that's a certified Camry quote. Hmm. 
this is once again this is just stuff we saw in the game that's the chat we saw in the game I guess these are all the um, videos from the game which is cool that they're all here but we're not gonna get anything new from playing these let's see if this gets us anywhere and if not I will yeah this is nothing let me try looking around for it a bit off camera and then this immediately brings us to a redirect. So our other website is this one. Which doesn't even try to load. So maybe they, I don't know if this, these used to hold something or not. Or if this just like never was a thing. Cause I, like these two sites, I don't know exactly what they'd be to tie into the game, but I thought it was worth a try. So I mean, that's a fun little check. It didn't really give us much aside from just their standard promotional site, but still, that was fun. Yeah, next time, I still haven't quite decided what game we're gonna be playing next time. I guess I'll have to find out tomorrow. Thank you for watching. As always, uh, this was fun. I liked this game.